I'm here at Donahue's Chicken. This is the original one. This is the OG one. Yes, the Pomona one is good, but this is where it started. Let's go inside, check it out. I'm super stoked right now. Uh, they got a new owner, uh, but they've kept all the same recipes. The owner, I'm really impressed by. He wanted to keep everything original, everything simple. If anything, the new owners have come in and improved some things as far as uh, the cleanliness. I'm not saying the place was dirty before, but they came in, they cleaned it up. Uh, they kept everything simple and I'm digging it. Uh, they're on social media, they're very active, they're engaging. Um, and I like that in a place that, that that goes a long way with me So it's good to know that they're posting up their hours and what's going on and I can't wait to try this chicken and To confirm that it's still as good as it was before. So let's get this chicken home. Let's go eat. All right. We got it home. Oh What's everyone? Right it smells like Donahue's. I don't think they've changed anything Got the muffins. They were still, they were making the bread fresh when I was there. Uh, the chicken, we saw them make that bread, that double bread. So we also have the chicken fillets, the chicken fingers. Um, this is something I have not had yet, but given other places like Raising Cane's and other places that do chicken uh, fingers, I'm really interested to try these. Um, you saw me do the challenge between Popeyes and Raising Cane's. Now we're gonna try Donahue's. And they really uh, said, I've got to try their, all their sauces they make in-house. So we'll definitely test that. Um, and the potato salad. So like the one in Pomona, the sides suck. I'm sorry. I love, <laughs> I love the iconic sign out front. I love the chicken. It's just greasy fried chicken, but it's not good. This is going to be good. It's a good potato salad. I'm trying to analyze the potato salad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a potato salad expert. Enough to describe. There's a there's pickle and there's a little bit of diced pickle in there. It's good. It's a good creamy potato salad. I'm not gonna dwell on that. Let's get to the main event here. The chicken. There it is. Let's do this. Let's bite into this. You know what? Not as greasy as before. The breading though, still, it's, it just tastes like Dunhu's. It's what I'm used to. And I love the skin and the breading. It was good. I want to say this actually might taste better. Not as greasy. It is greasy though. Don't get me wrong. It's good. Damn good. Try that roll. Mmm. Got a little butter in there. Nice, nice. Nice fresh roll. That's good. Two pieces in the biscuit. Good. Let's grab one of these tenders. Do it in this sauce first. Just hot sauce. That's for the chicken. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that's different. That's real different. I was looking at that raisin cane sauce or mm -mm, way different. It's sweeter. There's something sweet. Let me just take a sip out of the cup. It's good, but it's definitely different. It's not what I was expecting. And let's try this little one right here. Put it in the ranch. This is a good fresh ranch right there. Let's go back to this sauce right here. I don't know if this is their signature sauce or what. As a trip, the chicken strips probably way better, way better than Cane's. The only thing that makes Cane's chicken strips good is the sauce. And same thing for Popeyes. The only thing that made Popeyes good is that it was actually more meaty. Whereas this, this is actual meat. It's the Dunhu's breading. It's really good. And that sauce is different. It's good. It's a sweet sauce. I'm gonna finish up my chicken here though. Just gonna stop dipping in that hot sauce. I'm a happy camper, man. And the hot sauce, it's just like a red rooster sauce or a crystals. That basic vinegary hot sauce, perfect. So overall, man, out of five stars, I'm giving it a five. I say it's, I think it's still the best in the IE. Uh, they kept a lot of the, the recipe flavor, a lot of the recipe is still there, the flavor is still there. Oh, the quality I think is, may have come up a little bit. 
and the cleanliness of the store. I walked in, whoa, they, I don't know if they remodeled, but they definitely cleaned it all up. It, it looks nice when you walk in, and it's in a really awkward area. And uh, hopefully when COVID's over, I'll enjoy sitting on their patio. They got that nice little patio there. Um, thank you for Dunahoos for, <laughs> for letting me feature you guys. I'm excited to share this with everybody and give them a follow. And if you're not already, follow Life With Arts.